Here is a very interesting multiple choice question. Inverse of a quadratic function. Now, the question here is, for f of x equals 2, 3 times x minus 2 whole square plus 5, where x is greater than or equal to 2, equation of f inverse x is, so we got four choices. Now, which one is correct? So, at times I have seen, you know, most of the time, students just making guess and it doesn't really work. So how should we go about is what I'm going to teach you here. One way is find the domain and range of your function itself and inverse it will flip and that will make job very simple for you, right? So let me show you how to do it. So let's say we will do it with the help of a graph here. Right, so the function is 3x minus 2 whole square plus 5. Since this is positive, we have a parabola which opens upwards, right? Therefore, range is going to be greater than or equal to 5, and domain, you know, is all real numbers. All real numbers, correct? But anyway, we'll kind of sketch this also. So here we have a vertex at 2, 5. So let's say the vertex is kind of here, and the function opens upwards, and we are interested in domain of x greater than or equal to 2. This is very important statement here. So that means we do have a parabola kind of like this, right? But we are truly interested in this half of our parabola since our domain is, including this point, towards the right, x greater than or equal to 2. Do you see that? So this is kind of most important thing which I wanted to highlight for solving this question. If I'm trying to do the inverse of this function, then basically I'm trying to flip it. And then if I do that, then I'm expecting a graph, which will be this point is two and five. So it'll go to five and two, right? So it'll kind of come on this side and it will be, I'm just doing approximate work kind of like this, right? Now, the whole idea here is that as you can see, what is the domain and range of the given function? Domain is already given to you, x greater than or equal to 2, right? That is the domain. So we have a domain here. Let me write. Domain of the function is equals to x greater than or equal to 2. And what is the range? Range of this function is, since it's opening upwards from 5, we have y greater than or equal to 5. Is that okay? Now, when we are talking about inverse of a function, so this is the function, right? This is what we are talking about is f of x. And now, how about f inverse x? It has to switch. So the domain now will be equals to x greater than or equal to 5 and range will become this, right? So range of this function is y x y greater than equal to 2. So what I'm trying to say is for inverse of a function this domain and range is going to flip. Right? Now that gives you a fairly good idea about what should be the right choice. So we are looking for something which is x greater than equal to 5. Right? So that is what we are looking for. So in which case do we get x greater than or equal to 5? So we have two cases here. x is greater than or equal to 5 for this domain and for this. So we got two different op options here. So that is first thing. Second thing is when we are looking for a parabola, we are looking for the one which is the upper half, which is the positive half. We are not looking for the downward one, right? We are not looking for this. So the positive half is with positive which is this, correct? So that means our choice is A. Do you get the point? That means that our choice is A, right? A is our choice. More than, greater than, or you could see from here, we are looking for a range which is greater than 2. So we should add something to 2, 2 to get more. If I do less, then it becomes less than 2. So that y greater than or equal to 2 makes confirms that choice A is perfect. 
Now, if you solve this question in this fashion, then you can really score marks in multiple choice. Otherwise, you may spend a lot of time in just finding the inverse and uh, matching the answer. So my suggestion is, most of the inverse function problems involving restricted domain and range, you should check with domain and range parameters. They help you to make a better choice. Right? I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.